Hi everyone, welcome to this month's edition of Inside Inclusion. My name is Marianne and I'm a youth ambassador from Oregon and I've played soccer, softball, and basketball since my freshman year of high school. Hi Marianne, hello everyone. My name is Gabriel and I am also a U.S. youth ambassador from Oregon. I play all sorts of of sports from soccer to cross country to wrestling and even track and field. We're excited to have this chance to connect and have a conversation with inclusive young youth leaders from Puerto Rico. Thank you. We're really happy to be here with you both. My name is Carlo Morazzi. I am a unified soccer player and I have been participating with Special Olympics Puerto Rico since I was 15. We are really excited to see you here. Yeah, thank you. I am Angel Rios, I am 23 years old, and I am part of the unified basketball team for Special Olympics Puerto Rico. And I have been a unified partner since 2015. My experience with Special Olympics started when I was eight to 10 years old, watching my brother, helping in everything they wanted me to do after we sport like boshi, bowling, swimming, and basketball. Thank you both for joining us today. We are going to be discussing something really important, connections. To connect means to bring two or more things together so a relationship is created. This can happen between people, feelings, and even ideas. We're going to talk about how we can create strong connections and how we can keep them. This year has forced us to find some creative ways to keep in touch and connect with others. How have you stayed connected to the people you care about? I have stayed, I, I have stayed connected with my friend via social media, Facebook and Instagram, or via WhatsApp. We adapted to still see one another while we are talking using Google Meet and Zoom. I try to get together with those I care about, especially because I like to connect and talk about our shared interests. We call people to connect in my family. My grandpa sends me books in the mail. We have online school, so I still see some of my friends. My mom and I deliver waffles for our Unified Waffle Club. Being a youth, U.S. Youth Ambassador has helped me connect with other leaders with and without intellectual disabilities around the pe around the country. How has being a part of the Special Olympics team helped you connect with pe new people in the region? Yeah, so I have been part of Facebook Live event, so we can share our experience with Special Olympics. I started because of my brother, and we share our experience with Special Olympics Latin America. Also, as part of my unified team, we meet every week so we can stay connected and talk about sports, how we, can, how we have been doing and make sure we're staying in touch. Our last call, we talked all about the NBA finals, who is going to who and who will win, the Heat or the Lakers. Being part of a team, I've been able to share my passion of sport with others through my team and uh, Sola Zoom Live events. I've been able to connect with new people about soccer, talk about players and the best teams and the best players in the world, such as Messi or Real Madrid. Being a youth ambassador has allowed me to connect with other youth ambassadors from different states and form personal connections with them. I got to work with my fellow youth ambassadors to spread inclusion from around the U.S. and in our own schools. We are all different. We come from different families and backgrounds. We have different experiences. We're lucky enough to have different strengths, abilities, and weaknesses. Why is it so important to connect with others who are different? Differences are what make us grow as individuals. Not everyone understands 
or experiences the same situation, so we can learn from other examples. No matter your difference, Special Olympics teaches you that everyone can achieve their goals. It is important because we have to understand why we are different and no matter what kind of ability level, everyone can adapt, learn and contribute in their own way. Because with a better understanding of others, you can maybe understand what they are going through and even understand myself better too. Sometimes our connection with others are temporary and situation. Sometimes they are strong and lasting. Either way, feeling connected and making others feel the connection is important. Our connection with classmates, teachers, coaches, and friends are all different. What are ways you, you make sure the other people in your life know they matter? One thing that I do it is that I include them in everything I do. For example, for my work as an environmental scientist, I invite, I invite my family when I go in the field to collect samples. Um, I show people with actions. At home, I help my mom and my family to take care of our home and take care of the environment we live in. Um, I also do this when I play sports and support my team members by giving compliments and encouragement. To show people they matter, I like to ask them how they are doing and genuinely listen to their response. I also like to ask them what they enjoy doing and do it with them. How do you connect with people who speak a different language than you? I may not try to see if we can communicate through English. If they can, I try, I try to use nonverbal language so they can try to know what I'm saying. I try to be very patient because patience is so important because getting frustrated and angry will not help get your point across. You can play a game, listen to music, share food and your culture with one another. Yeah, there are some people that, that feel isolated more than ever. If you see your friend feeling down or you are not hearing from them, you can reach out to see if they are okay, like sports. I think music is another thing that people can use to build connections. What advice do you have for people that feel lonely or isolated? Um, well, if someone is not in a good situation or does not feel like they are understood or supported, my advice is to try to talk to someone. Try to lean on your family in hard times and remember to reach out for help. Trying to reach out to someone using the internet, writing a letter or sending them a gift is probably a very good idea. Uh, reaching out first is important because others may not know you're feeling lonely or isolated. I have one question, a final question. How do you stay connected with yourself? What do you like to do? to help you relax, calm down, or reflect. When I have a lot of work and therefore a lot of stress, I take a nap. On the other hand, I like to play the guitar, play basketball, or swim to relax and stay connected with myself. I like to calm down by taking a deep breath, bending my cap, and saying to myself, I can handle this. To stay connected with myself, I often turn to music. When I'm alone, I'll put on my favorite songs and I reflect on how I've been feeling and how I've been doing. To stay connected with us, head over to generationunified.org to learn more.